Jake here is going to start saying, with this cone. The bags. It's He's going to break through. down that cone and cut and, and cut to the right. Cut to the right, down. cut to the right. And at any given time during this drill, I may elect to throw the ball. So they've got to be ready. So our quarterback will be right here in the middle. And at some point, he'll elect to throw the ball. Even as they're coming back here, he can elect to throw the ball and he'll have to reach back and catch it. So we're working on several things here. Not only are we gonna work on our cuts and our breaking down, but catching the ball, sometimes I'll deliberately throw a bad ball, I'll throw a good ball, a low ball, a high ball. Those things, you, you can just mix it up during this drill right. So, on go, quarterback, so go. As he approaches the car, Okay. Then we'll go the other way. And you would have a second ball here. So when they go the other way, they switch Break down. Break down and look. Come down and go back. Every time we break down, we're gonna turn and look. Turn and look, turn and look. Go. Go. You'll go down. Set the ball down under control. Gather the next ball. Okay. Hopefully we catch it. Okay, our next drill is pretty simple. It's a catching drill. Just keep the same five bags. I use this pad. They'll put their hands through, and the whole idea is to catch the ball with their hands. If they let the ball hit the pad, they'll do 15 push-ups. See how he's catching it? All hands up there. It's not touching his body. We're concentrate on looking the ball all the way in. Then we'll throw some low balls and some high balls. Make them actually work for it. If you have four or five guys, you can rap, rapid fire through this thing pretty quick. Okay. Now, there's one other variation that we may do is we can have him actually be moving towards us when he's getting the ball. Good. Pull hard at the elbow at 90. Grip those eyes and release it. Okay, the other, the other drill we'll do is our over the shoulder drill. Ramp throws it on his outside shoulder and go. Really over it. It's just a nice little lob, throw it over his shoulder. You want to try to get them to catch the ball okay, coming back. in front of them, speed. not behind. Go. Over the shoulder so we can stay in. Good, sink the hips, rise up. To catch the ball. Go. The hips down, over their feet, pull the elbows. Catch the ball. These guys are really pretty good at catching the ball. Okay, now, bad ball. So we're going to come out here, and the quarterback's going to throw a bad ball, make him turn all the way around, catch the ball, and shoot it up and run. So go. So once again, we're concentrating on watching the ball in. Turn and run. Even with the inside bag, got this two-point stance. And this one, I tell him to get down and run it around. Go. The younger guys may not be able to get as much Okay. Next drill. I really is our sideline drill. Chris demonstrates so I don't come over here. Make a fool of myself. And I tell him to put his hand down flat. What we're gonna do? Quarterback's just gonna throw it on the cone right here. We're gonna catch, keep our feet in bounds, and tap out. Again, 
Okay, on this one, we're going to do what we call outside hard nine. Normally, we would okay. use our pitching Same machine room, on this because I can crank that thing up and get some velocity. Do is accelerate but to the I'll outside have the quarterback throw the ball. It's pretty good fit. The outside leg coming so up. Go, we're going to be us. Plant. Throw the ball. Bring it in. Go ahead. Go. Go. All right, now come on down here, Jake. We'll also run the same type of a drill where we'll have a, a distractor, we'll have a defender with the receiver, one on each side of the cone here. In this case, we'll call Jake the designated receiver, and Josh's job is to avoid contact, but do everything he can to keep him from catching the ball. Here's the Third step is always cut. Let's go. We just want to cause conflict so we can get used to going up and getting the ball and making sure that we can catch when we have the ball. Okay, now let's run this one a little bit longer. Let's, let's actually run the 91. Jake. Let's go. I'll go through this one. Fast feet, okay? High knees. So Ready? You can go. change up the path one, two, three. route. Run the short stuff on the Good. long stuff. See that they're the pulling that, pulling that <laughs> knee and really driving it on the outside cut. Okay. Let's come down here now, Jake. Let's, let's show him our dance yeah. drill. Good. We have a drill. He's going to line up. He's going to go down the field. And what we like to do is take a receiver or you, the quarterback, you can put your foot right behind here. What we want to see is on go, this foot comes up and everything is motion with that right foot. If he squats back and steps on my foot, he's going to do 50 push ups. He's going to step with his inside foot. Okay, here. Go. He comes across. I get my Did you see his foot? Did you see what happened there? Even on go, you saw him put pressure on that. That's not what we're looking for. On go, here first. Off. Go. Emphasize See, once again, he stepped on my foot. So what we're working on is getting okay, that foot moving. Everything's That's going forward. We're going to get off the line of scrimmage a lot faster if we don't squat. Go. A little bit better. Hand on the hip, not around the back. Good, rotate the back. So that's the stance drill. You can work on that forever because you can't ever get good enough at that. You can keep everything going forward. We're better off. Next drill is Josh, come over here, be the defender. Our release drill. Okay? On our swim, I, I want him to come to the inside to me. So the first thing he's going to do is make sure that he gets his arm over the top and his left hand pushing the body away on the swim for a release. Set, go. So. What's happening? His hands are already up here. On go, he's coming here, pushing and swimming through. We've got to get some pressure on him to get off. Okay. Okay. Not a ton. Do it again. Not even pass blocking for you guys. So go. All right. Let's do the delay drill. Josh, you do the so delay guys, drill. It's more and once again, we're up here in bump coverage. Up, we want to avoid him. Tail in the chair. So we're going to run our delay okay. release. He comes to the back. So go. To the linebacker. Normally, when that guy moves forward, we're watching for this. When I come up, Jake comes forward, I'm just going to avoid him. I don't want to touch him. We want to avoid contact. Okay. Do it again. So go. He's going to come towards you. That's the natural tendency as a back to come up and pick you up if he's playing bump. Okay, the other one is the pull. All right, same thing, only this time we're actually going to grab him. We're going to grab him and pull him through. So it's like this, we're going to grab him, got his arm, I'm pulling him through and I'm releasing. Okay? So go. Keep that tail down in the chair, just like so go. the chair. Okay. 